quick and dirty time. What question? Boundary question, because you guys asked for it in the comments. And as always, I'm using the best tests, best questions from the SATCrashCourse.com because I'm making the test with them, going over the questions with them. They're helping me by providing all of this wonderful actual Blue Book AI format. Here we go. And if you guys want to check out the website, as always, my referral code is going to be in the comments uh, in the description. You guys get 10% off. Okay. Uh, so this is a boundaries question. And I know I've done a boundaries question before, right? But you guys want more. So here with this question, this is really easy to solve and it's going to be over quickly. And I also wanted to talk about then overall, how do I deal with boundary questions in general? Okay, so first of all, how do I get to this question? Well, as it is the case in the regular SAT or paper SAT, I should say, that exists right now, you want to first identify well, what's wrong with it. So let's look here, okay? But even with these, I want you guys to, on the reading, reading section, right? The first half of the um, reading and writing portion, you guys know for the majority of them, you should be looking at the question itself first because that allows you to know what type of question it is and what should I be focusing on. Same thing here. So I know that this is a writing question and it's a grammar question, conventions of standard English, but sneaking a peek at the answer choices, which I do not recommend for the reading, do not recommend at all. But for this one, when it's conventions of English, you can look at these and figure out, okay, what kind of question is this? So notice here, I have a comma, I have no punctuation, and then I have a semicolon. If I have comma versus semicolon or period, all of those punctuations are going to be a boundary question, okay? And I'm using the word boundary question not because I think it's the greatest terminology. It's what College Board and Khan Academy decided to call it, okay? So boundary questions for me, I would probably uh, think of them as uh, Fragment questions, sentence completion questions, because those are meaningful phrases. Boundary, not really. Anyway, let's get to it. So I noticed that because there's a comma here, because there's a semicolon, probably a boundary question. So what do I need to do? Connect properly. Okay, how do I connect things properly? This is again the background idea, guys. So we're going to do sentence, sentence, in which case I have a few options. I'm going to go over this quickly because we did already do a video on this. In which case you put a period, you put a semicolon, you can put a colon, or you could do a comma and fanboys. And when do I use each of those? There's another video. I can link it in the comments. Or if you guys find that not uh, enough info, I'll make another one. But for today's purpose, let's assume we know how to do all of these things, okay? Because I want to go over again broadly, how do I do a boundary question? So there are only two options. You connect them properly because they're a sentence and a sentence. And you do that by using a period, a semicolon, a colon, or comma and fanboys. Those are my options if I do want to do sentence, sentence. What is my other option? You make them one, you make one of them not a sentence. And then the other one a sentence. The order doesn't matter. So if I have a sentence and not a sentence, then you can connect it with just a comma just a comma that's the major difference okay because people mess up the most with commas if i have two sentences i need comma and fanboys comma fanboys they cannot be separated it's a group deal but if one of them is not a sentence just put a comma that's it so let's look here scholar mary mullen's argument that public humanities efforts can disempower the public by elevating academics as fixtures is not entirely without play okay i really 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 I said it four times do not care about the meaning when I do convention questions, if it's a boundary. I really don't care. All I care is, okay, that was a sentence. Okay, because I know the word here is merit. Okay, let's look at the second thing. Public humanities programs can indeed reinforce, okay, that's another sentence. So I have sentence and sentence. So again, how do I deal with that? Well, if I leave it a sentence and sentence, I'm going to do one of these. Okay. A does not work. Why? Because that's a comma, but no fanboys. Out. B doesn't work because you're literally not even putting an effort. You're not even trying. That's terrible effort. Okay. C is the biggest trap because you think, oh, I put a semicolon. But look here. As. That's what you want to look for. You want to watch out for subordinating. If you guys care about the grammar terms. Okay. Subordinating conjunctions or just 
This is easier. Word. Makes not sentence. The word as here makes the second part not a sentence. So I have really, if I were to break this down super simply for you guys, okay, I'm going to use the letter S to represent sentence. Okay, so it's either S, S, or S and not sentence, comma. And this one again is all the other stuff. Right? Okay. So semicolon, all that. Okay. Comma, fanboys, etc. Those are the only, they cannot overlap. Okay. So answer to C, I use a semicolon. When do I use semicolon? Sentence, sentence. If I use as, is that a sentence? No, it's not. Okay. If I say as he was coming back, I just pause for dramatic effect because that's not a sentence. You can't just go as he was coming back. You have to be, as he was coming back, you picked up a few things. You have to finish the thought. That's not a sentence. Okay. So my answer here is D. So when you're actually solving this problem, of course, you're not going to go through this whatever minute video in your own head. You're going to be able to serve, solve this in 20 seconds or fewer. You're going to do this. I recognize that it's a boundary question. I also recognize that right now it's a sentence and a sentence. So the uh, correct way to solve that would be period, semicolon, colon, or comma, and fanboys. That is not an option because A, B, or out. C looks like it's an option because it's semicolon, but the as makes it not a sentence, not a category. So my answer is D. Sentence, non-sentence, just put a comma. Done. Okay? So that is the boundary question. If you guys have other varieties of boundary questions that you want me to clarify things on, let me know in the comments, post a link, email me a screenshot, whatever it is, I can get you guys. All right? So that's it for today's boundary question. Good luck with your studies. Let me know. Whatever you need to do, I got you guys. Thanks for watching. Study every day with SexJ. It's the best way. Bye-bye.